Hey guys, I am DJ Strick, and uh, this is the stream show. Thank you so very much for being a part of the show today. As you can tell, I'm doing something different in the countdown, but you can see it's counting down right here, like at the bottom, the numbers are counting down. So as you're coming in today, uh, please like. I already have a couple of likes already started. Thank you so very much for doing that. And make a comment. Let me know where you're coming from. I may have to move my uh, countdown to see your comments. But, hey, I want to see where you're coming in from. As you can tell, I already have something on the screen. I'm sharing my screen. Actually, it's my laptop. And I'm going through some of the podcasting platforms that's available. OK, like there's we've been talking about podcasting for a while, but I haven't really talked about podcasting platforms. And this is not in any order. Well, the last one that I get to is the one that I use, but this is not in any order. And it's just showing you like I'm not going to tell you all the details. It's just five or six that are available out there that you guys should be aware of. That's all I want to share. OK. The first one I'm starting with is, as you can tell, Buzzsprout. Okay? All right? So, here we go with Buzzsprout. Man, thank you. Like, somebody from uh, the Carolina, Charlotte, North Carolina is here with me today. Thank you so very much. The Bible Man MC, NC is here. So, I'm talking about Buzzsprout, and I had a, a text come through really quick. So, let me take a look at this. Podcast hosting made easy. Easy and powerful tools with free learning materials and remarkable customer service. So this is, I've just started with this one so you guys can get a chance to see what Buzzsprouts look like. It is available out there. They do have a pricing structure. Uh, I think this one does start off as free, like it has a free option for you for two hours, as you can tell right there. The principal made it to class early today. What's up? Principal Kathy Walker is hanging out with us. So as you can tell, it does have one that is free for you, uh, has ads on it, um, but it is a free version available for you guys. So I, I want to talk about Buzzsprout so you can check that one out. What's my next one right here? Spreaker. Uh, this is, I've heard about this, you know, it's part of iHeart Network and uh, I think this one is really cool as well. Um, you can see everything, Starksville, Kathy Walker. I didn't know you were in North Carolina as well. That's that's what's up. I'm talking and you guys are not seeing the comments, but there she is in the comments. As you come in, please give me a like and uh, let me know where you're watching from today. I really would appreciate it. I'm talking about podcasting platforms, Buzzsprout. This one is Spreaker. And I like this one as well. As, again, it's another one that's available out there. Let me see if they, if I can show you their pricing structure. So plans and pricing here has a broadcasting or broadcaster one. Do I see? Okay, starts at $20 a month. Okay? And of course, they go up from there. Like, you could really, really go up. Why did it have, have it kind of different? So, on air talent, $8 a month. Broadcaster, $20 a month. Publisher. So, there's different ones that you can actually use. Kathy says that she loves uh, Buzzsprout. That's the one she used for her podcast. And then Bible Man MC says that he used Spreaker as well. So that's really cool. So I'm, I'm on top of it. I'm on top on some of the ones that people are using. So here's another one. This is the one that Doc uses called Captivate. Of course, they actually have started. Um, uh, we started a new podcast called The Flow. So Katie and Doc are doing one. So you guys look at The Flow. Try to find it out there. And I'm sure you will absolutely love it. Okay? So find that show. Of course, they also come on throughout the week. So you can uh, see them on the YouTube channel as well. Okay? So... Here we go. So what else do I have here? Then I have, I can't, you know, I, I, I don't know the name, but we have somebody coming in to the stream from Russia. Hello from Moscow, Russia. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully you learned something today. We're on the third one, Captivate, as a platform. I'm not giving you pros and cons. I'm just saying these are things that are out there that's available. So to be honest with you, I don't know enough about all of these. 
lights, camera, action. Join the stream team with Strick and Brent and be a part of the stream network. Our goal is really simple. We're here to help you succeed. I absolutely love that. Guys, we've started the stream show a year and a half ago, almost two years ago. And in the countdown, I give myself five minutes. And what happens is I forget to look at the timer and it cuts me off at five minutes. But thank you so very much for being here. We have people in the comments telling us where they're from. David is now hanging out with us. What's up, Ecamm fam? Thank you guys so very much. I want to say this before I get started. He says, what's up, Ecamm fam? I got to tell all all of the family of Ecamp about people of video that's going down September 19th through the 21st in Albany, New York. Guess what? I want you to go to peoplevideo.com for all the details and to purchase your ticket, but there is a code ECAMFAM for 25% off of people of video. Now, of course, Ecamm Live, 25% off for the people of video conference. I want to say that right. Get it all the words out. So, uh, of course, Ecamp is a sponsor of People Video this year, so you guys can definitely check them out and be a part of it. This is going to be a big thing for not only People Video, but also Ecamp. So if you want the discount, all you have to do is use Ecamp Fam to get 25% off your tickets. So let me do this really quick as we get things going on right here. Um, we are... I got Gretchen hanging out with me again from the sunny Pacific Northwest, Tacoma, Washington. Hey, um, thank you so very much for hanging out with us today. Hopefully you learned something. I got through three podcasting platforms, and I want to go through a couple more so you guys can see what is available for you out there. So I'm not telling people which one and the pros and cons. I'm just showing you what's available. And I'm sure there'll be times where we could go through what uh, ones that are better than others, what they do, all of that kind of stuff. Pot Bean is probably the one that's been out there the longest from my, they've been out there a long time. Let me say, I don't know if it's the longest, but they've been out in the podcasting world for a very long time. And I want to go check them out as well. So platforms, they really do have a lot that is uh, unique, and then they have a lot that's the same. I mean, it's a platform that's going to give you an RSS feed that's going to feed to other platforms where people could keep up with your podcast. So they're going to, um, uh, hey, Valerie, how are you doing? Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. They're going to get you on Apple Play, Google. And of course, there's Amazon out there. Spotify's out there. So there's a bunch of things that you can actually uh, get to. Let's go to pricing for Pine Bean and see what they have here for their prices. Uh, simple pricing, no surprises, unlimited audio, audio podcasting, no limits, $9 a month. Okay, I get it. And it tells you a couple of things that you get. Um, what am I missing here? Okay, there are the plans across the top. So for twenty nine dollars, I did want to say this as I was researching this for twenty nine dollars a month, you can get video podcasting with Pi Bean. Why is that important? It's important because um, Spotify is doing video podcasting along with Anchor, and I'm gonna talk about Anchor in a second. But of course, YouTube is going to get into the podcasting business. So video podcasting is going to be a big thing. Of course, we're using different vocabulary words. All right. So live streaming or you can stream videos or any kind of content can be considered a podcast based on the format that you're doing. So don't get it twisted, but there's a lot of the other ones that are just doing audio. Pi being from what I can see here is one that is also with Anchor and Spotify doing video podcasting along with the other forms of how you put your content out. It could be whatever, okay? So let's go to the next one here. And um, Lipson here has been around for a while. Very, very big company. I know a lot of podcasters that use them, Okay. So, of course, they're going to get you on Spotify and uh, Apple, all of that. Let me go to their pricing structure if I can find it here. 
Okay, it's right on the front page. It starts at $5 a month for three hours. All right? It gives you stats for $2 plus a month. I get it. They, they're stacking on. They want you to see the $5 price. So this is another one that's out there. And, of course, the last one here is Anchor. And Anchor is completely free, guys, completely free. I like Anchor because of the low barrier to entry, okay? As a, as a pod, uh, someone that's starting to get into this the first time, I like Anchor because they make it really, really simple. They are in partnership with uh, Spotify, so you get both of the platforms, including um, Apple Podcasting, uh, Google Podcasting. I mean, it's, it's all there. So I do like the fact that they get you on some of those platforms. The only thing that I don't like that I need to personally kind of figure out how it's done is they're not connected to iHeartRadio, and I think that that's a big deal. Um, I don't think they're connected to TuneIn. Of course, you can connect those two on your own, but uh, some of the other ones like Brooks. But Sprout allows you to get to those other two. But this one is free. Why am I doing this? For a lot of new creators. If you're a, a, a new creator and you're trying your best to get into the business, um, there's so many other subscriptions that you're having. Okay? You're trying to concentrate on making your content um, on YouTube, of course. You're trying to do your reels, your shorts, your TikToks. And there are other subscriptions that you're using for productions, all of the things, uh, Descript, all of the things that you have to do, having another thing to get content out that you didn't have to pay for with the thought of this could be monetized could be tough. Even if it's another $15, $20, it could be tough. I understand that. So what I'm saying, Anchor has the, it's, it's the least area uh, to overcome because it's free. So just try it out. And if you're trying me out tonight and you're saying, hey, Strick, let me give you some of my time. Thank you for coming through. But I need to know that you're hanging out with me. Now, I'll try to give a little uh, context to what we're talking about in podcasting and just start with a couple podcast platforms that you can check out on your own. This is another secret. If I am trying, if I like one, I would go anchor and then I put verses and see what YouTube will do the verses, what videos could potentially be out there. And I'll go and try to see for the, the ones that I'm aware of, how does other creators say that these things stack up? Because you never know when you can get some information that you wouldn't heard, wouldn't have not heard if you didn't do some type of research. Okay, so that's just the way I do it. When I'm doing my research, I look at to look at some of the creators. Of course, we all listen to Doc Rock, right? Whatever Doc says. But again, you could do some research on some of the platforms and figure out what podcasting platform could be best for you. Now that I've done that, I'm way past my entry of my five minutes during the countdown. But I wanted to provide a little value because I haven't talked about other platforms other than my favorite, which is Anchor. That being said, let's get into the show, okay? Now, if you are using Ecamm and you're making content, whether it's uh, video or audio, of course, we get the separate audio tracks that we can use for our audio podcast. But now, video podcasting is a big deal. What happens when you are out of the studio? and you've connected with some people, you, they can't come to your studio, but you can go to them or say it's an event. My wife travels around and she has radio stations coming to the event and they do mobile interviews. It's the same thing. Like, how can we help you set up a mobile, a mobile podcasting interviews? And I have none other and Derek Floyd of IK Multimedia hanging out with me tonight to talk about all the products that they have available for you so that you could be on the go and be mobile with your setup. That being said, let me see if he's ready over here. I know that he is, and I don't have him set up. It should be guest number one. Here it is. I, there it is, that simple, this click of a button, and I have him ready to go. How are you doing, sir? What's good, DJ Strick? What's good, man? 
I am great. And uh, thank you so very much for taking the time, number one, to come hang out with me on the stream show today. We have people watching today, and they are <laughs> intrigued about what products you have available where I came on time media when it comes to being on the go. That being said, wow. you've been doing <laughs> a, a lot of stuff. That's a big mouthful, bro. <laughs> it, is, it is a mouthful. Now, I know that you are not only a representative of IK Multimedia, but you're also a content creator as well. Yes, yes. Beautiful Now Project. So YouTube.com forward slash The Beautiful Now Project. We give you some motivational content to keep you going. And what we try to do is give you beautiful videos to keep your life going in the forward direction. So that's what we try to do there. So You have uh, a great setup over there as well. You look yeah. really, really good, sir. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm trying to be like you. It's not as cool with the blue lights, but I got a little blue, a little red. You know, I got a little bit of everything going in there, you know. No, I love it. I love it, man. Nice. <laughs> Chris, now, is this a new camera setup? Is this the same yeah, this camera you have? Sony 8400. I'm loving it. You know, I've been using it for a while, and it's got a nice crisp look to it. So I kind of enjoy that vibe. And uh, this is that. Believe it or not, I do this on my Zoom calls every day, too, for my office. So everybody's like, well, your Zoom calls are crisp. Just using that camera, yo. So that's <laughs> that. When you say that's the A. A6400, yeah, it's the older I one. I got it, I got it, I got it. I love it, man. You look really good, by the way. And I know I appreciate said that you. twice, but I meant it both times. <laughs> appreciate you, man, appreciate you. So help me out. Um, we've talked about what the show would be about, of course. We want to help people to be able to uh, record their podcast on mm -hmm. the go, to be mobile. And I know at IK Multimedia, you guys have several things that you can actually use to help people go mobile. And I want to start at the bottom of the list for you. And actually, yeah. I want to turn it over so you can yeah. kind of help me out with that. <laughs> I've seen them all, but you can yeah. kind of explain the product and then how they could be used in a mobile scene. I got you. Well, thank you. Number one, thank you for having me on the show. Everybody at the stream show, much love to the peeps out there watching the show. I wish to watch the show at the time. So I know it's an amazing show. We got a lot of information going forward and DJ Strick always giving the right information for people out there that wants to do a stream. So I love how you just help the streamer succeed. It's what he does. And I, I'm just glad to be a part of it. So thank you for having me on. Um, I came out to media as a company that makes creative tools for everybody to get sound into whatever device you have in your way. I and mean, you'll be an iPhone, iPad, iPod touch, Mac PC. We can get sound in, or we can hold that device, or we have speakers or stands. Or we just make so many devices to help creative tools keep going. So today though, we're going to talk about the streaming side of things. And since I am a podcaster slash content creator, we have a stream of devices to kind of help you get right started. Even if you're doing just a phone, or an iPad. Can I talk about that stuff? Are we good, DJ Strick? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go with it. So, so the idea is that if you're on the go, and mm -hmm. what is the? I like to help people make it simple and easy. Yeah. You know, there's yeah. ways to do it. Now, of course, you know, I talk about my wife being an artist. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. we go out, and some people have these big, elaborate uh, mm -hmm. setups, and that's really mm -hmm. good if you can plug into their system. But what if you can't sure. plug into their system? What if yeah. you just have an iPad or iPhone, which <laughs> I think <laughs> these iPhones are like major league yeah, studios man. if you know they how are. to work them. And they so are. Can, can I start with one thing that I think is really, really cool, and, and you can kind of help me with this? In my research, um, I actually found that you guys have a app that could manipulate the sound of sure. your microphone using their app on your phone, and you can make it sound like there was that a RE20 or something like that. And there's several <laughs> different microphones you can have, right? We have something called Vocal Live, and we have uh, Mic mic room that we have so many different little apps that can go in and kind of help you to take that phone that you have in your hand and make it a portable studio the phones these days have advanced so far that they're no longer just a cell phone right they're mini computers and right. that's really all they are so if you didn't have a screen all you have was your phone on your screen i mean that's still a mini computer that does so much more than our friggin' old computers used to do back in the day so we said let's take that technology and make it work for us now so we created applications that will let you do audio interface type things like editing, stuff like that, like he said, uh, and make mic modeling, which is in other words, taking a microphone that sounds like one thing and make it sound like another. So there's things like that. And then we can record your voice, record different things you're doing on your phone, like a physical four track recorder, like you would have in a studio or something like that. So right. that's going on there. I really like that 
like that app because there are other application that does the same thing. Mm-hmm. They're not free. You know, <laughs> not free. that being said, I know you have a, um, a product that you want to start with. Well, let's just talk about everybody wants to stream, right? And when COVID hit, everybody's like, all of a sudden, how do I get my stream on my phone? Because they just want to just plug it into something and just go stream right there, like Twitch or whatever they want to do. They want to stream like that. And they had a little mixer they were going into maybe or a DJ rig, but they didn't know how to get their, their mixer sound into their phone. Right. So we created this really simple device. It's called, can you see that? Uh, Irish Stream Solo. Gotcha. It's super easy, and it plugs into the eighth inch input of your mobile device if you have that older style. And it has a left and right RCA. So whatever mixer or small mixer you have, you're plugging your sound into, you can plug that right into your phone, and boom, you've got sound right into your device. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. The sound goes in 24 bit 96 k you're ready to rock and roll. What we found was that people were using our original iRig device to kind of jimmy rig it into bringing sound in to their right. phone. So we said, why don't we just make them a device? So we made them iRig Stream Solo, and that'll get your sound in. You've actually got your level on, and you've got your own, your stream level going on the side. You've actually got loopback as well, which talk a little bit about loopback. You know what loopback, loopback so, is. So basically, there's a way for you to channel your audio and choose which audio where you want it to go so you don't have repeating audio coming from your mic and your ear and it gives you that loop where it's actually uh you know you can't really understand what someone is saying that being said that product is actually could be connected to a mixer where you have all of your microphones all your condensers and effects Mm -hmm. that can now be streamed back to your phone and for things like Clubhouse, people were wondering, yeah. like, why were some of the bigger uh, Clubhouse users sounding so good? It's because they mm-hmm. had products like that to actually yeah. make their audio sound better. Yeah, especially the DJs that are using Twitch. That's a biggie. That's what we saw a lot of. People were plugging their DJ decks in, trying to get great sound. We're like, let me give them a device to plug those DJ decks in. that you can go on Twitch and see them jamming out. That was a biggie for them. So yeah. huge for that. And it was uh, Principal Walker is here, uh, is here, and I think when we were on before, she actually did win one of those that we sent to us. <laughs> so um, nice, nice. Jared is actually on as well. Jared, it's good to actually have you on the stream today. What's up, Great Jared? topic, guys. Up, Thank you for chiming in, and we have people continuing to hit the like button. Of course, you know <laughs> DJ Strick likes that, so hit the like <laughs> button as we're talking about some of these products. So we started with the first one. What's solo. The next device is the iRig Stream. We had Stream Solo, which was just for mobile, and then we have iRig Stream. Now, this one does almost the same thing. It gets sound in, and it's got left and right RCA, but this one goes to your Mac and your PC and your phone. So if you're expanding out your repertoire, you want to be able to go into your phone and your Mac and PC. This is an easy device to do it. Gives you great input control on the top. You've got an input device where you can see the signal coming in left and, and see it getting hot or cold on the top there. You've actually got, of course, that loopback function, but you've got a mono or stereo sound, which sometimes certain applications only receive mono. So you can click that switch and it'll send that mono signal into your, your actual um, uh, application. And then we have a headphone output and a mic input. Now this is for if you plug in like a regular set of earbuds and you plugged it in that and you had that microphone there, you could mix that microphone into your sound and whatever DJ set or whatever uh, stream you're doing and be able to have that inside whatever's coming into your left and right RCA, giving you multiple inputs to bring that sound in. And again, Left and right RCA, super easy. Whatever you've got going on to your mixer can go into your Mac or PC or your iPhone. What do you think, the district? I like that one. Tell me which one that one was again. That was the regular Irish Stream. There's three Irish Stream devices to the family. Solo is number one. Uh-huh. Regular Irish Stream is number two. And we're going to go one more level up, and this is Irish Stream Pro. So we go from okay. Solo, Stream, Stream Pro. Stream Pro adds, what do you think? It adds an XLR Neutric connector, meaning it gives you XLR or quarter inch in addition to the left or right RC. Why would I need that? Well, maybe I'm that DJ that has a microphone that he wants to attach to and has his DJ decks playing at the same time or with different sources coming in from different directions. This is going to give me the ability to do both. Like I have that left or right RCA and the XLR quarter inch. But I can also add in the loopback function 
direct monitoring. And I've got 48 volt band and power on that input. So I can bring in that wow. SM7B or whatever your favorite microphone is on that. And I can bring that headphone microphone in. So it actually gives me almost four inputs to mix through. I've got the left, right RCA, the mic instrument line, and I've got that headphone input that gives me that extra input from the, the earbuds. Uh -huh. So it's four inputs in one device all in the same space. And I can mix them all together. But there's a little mixture on the side. I can control the inputs coming in and the input going on the side. I've got a big fat mute button. So if somebody gets loud, I can push, move, and cue them out. What do you think, Stretch? I like that one. Let me see if I can pull this one up really quick. So it, there it is, right there. There you go. I, I actually went to the site, and this is uh, how it says that you can actually stream out. You got your output, your audio oh, yeah. in. You have your mic or instrument that you can plug yep. in, and then your RCAs that are going to like if you have a mixer or for the DJ people, if you got your DJ thing DJs, what's up? That the mic input and headphones output. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I, yeah, I like man. that. That one's the iRig. That's the Stream, Stream Pro. Stream Pro. Stream Pro. Yes. Okay. Stream Pro. Now, I want to go one more deep in, but can you show it to them on the screen for me? I want to go talk about Quattro. Okay. And Quattro, I would show you in, in, in my office, but I'm actually using it right now in the middle of the stream. You're hearing me talk through the iRig Pro Quattro. I definitely want to show you that one on the screen. Can you give it to me? Just, just, yes, sir. Just I'm trying to pull it up right You're now. You're a good man. This one you're really gonna enjoy. This is this is almost dare I say it, almost like a little mini rogue. Lights, camera. I went one, there two, is. two. There we go. There it is. Just, okay, give me a pitch. There you go. Now see this Quattro is actually four separate XLR Nordic connectors, just like your Rodecaster Pro. You got four channels input, so you can put all your microphones together. You've actually got a left and right RCA, so you can plug in a separate mixer. And you got that eighth inch input, so you can plug in another microphone. So you got six inputs on this device. You've got the LED meters at the top where the number one is. And you've got number, where number four is, that's you actually choose the, the actual mute or main uh, or multi or mono. So like if you want to do that mono, like certain, certain applications don't want to use uh -huh. mono, you choose mono mode or multi mode. Multi mode is awesome if you're using like, something like Logic or Pro Tools, maybe some of these guys are using that there, it will send every separate channel out of a separate out in your DAW, digital audio workstation. So you can actually get every voice in your podcast on a separate channel, which is pretty amazing. Um, direct monitoring, loopback, and limiter. Limiter is pretty impressive because when you use broadcast, a lot of times they would have a separate fee going to a broadcast space or television or video where they want to have a separate fee they can alter or edit. This gives you what we call a limiter, which buffers that sound so it doesn't make a lot of high or no distortion. It keeps it nice and clean for you to go out of three and four. So the nice broadcast channel there, and that's on three and four. Loopback we talked about already. And direct monitoring lets you hear yourself while you're in the mix. Talk about DJ Strict. Give them a little bit more DJ, a little bit of a, a direct monitoring. So, of course, you, you if you're trying to um, hear the level, something that Ecamm has that it helps you understand what your feed sounds like. So if you ever went back to one of your videos and um, you didn't monitor it and – just like I do most of the time, and you may be louder than your guests, or your guests may be louder than you. Like that mm -hmm. happens because, uh, for lack of monitoring. So, if you can monitor what that feed is, it kind of yeah. helps you to be able to know exactly where you are. So, um, I definitely want to say hello coming in. So, thank you so very much. People are hanging out with us. Can you help us out with this one really quick? I've been using the Zoom, uh, yeah. F6. For mobile, love that 32-bit mm -hmm. float. So can you talk about how this may be similar or different yeah. to that Zoom? A lot of people love the Zoom 6. And the Zoom 6 is a great device, but it goes to an SD card. And sometimes you want to have that audio go right to either a computer or your iPhone or iPad. And that's what makes a little bit of a difference. With the uh, Arik Pro Quattro, I plug that into my device. And I can take that sound and bring it right into the computer and edit it right there on the fly. So I'm not having to take an SD card out, put it in the machine, try to edit that through. Just saves me a lot of time and a lot of effort. Um, the Zoom H6 is a great device and does capture quite a bit. And we do have the, like the little microphones and go on top of it. We can add those to our application to make it very much like a Zoom 6. You can go out and capture audio, but you'll still need some kind of device to save it to, whether it be your phone or your Mac and PC. Um, I think the best part about this particular device, though, is that with the Zoom 6, 
um, I think you can only go to HD card. I don't think you can save directly to a computer. With this one, you can directly to a computer at any time, and you can plug it into whatever you own. So if I've got my Quattro, I can take it and plug it into my phone. I can plug it into my iPad. I can plug it into my Mac and PC. Whatever I want to capture to, all I got to do is plug it in the wall, plug the cables in, and it records to it. So I've got such a versatility in that space. I think it gives me a little bit more to work with when I think about both devices. But they're both great. They both work well. It depends on what you want to do. I love it. I love it. And and uh, we've kind of been rolling, but there is another step further. You can go with the Quattro, right? What's the next step with that? Well, I mean, you can you can take it Mac or PC, but you can also use it as a standalone mixer, believe it or not. You can take this device, plug it into the wall, and let's say you had a, a small room of microphones you wanted to bring into this set and send this to a separate set of speakers out in a little small set. You could use this device as that mixer. In other words, plug in your microphone up in the front, the, the guy in the bass and the guy in the guitar and another guy in the back. Plug all that into the same device. And then it's actually balanced out that will take it to either a set of monitors or front of house, as you will. And you'd have a small little portable mixer wherever you go. Pretty killer. That is really cool. What about the deluxe part of this where it kind of adds another piece to? Uh, yeah, we find? have a deluxe version that adds some small, the little microphones you see like on the uh, on the H6. These have the deluxe version, the microphones and a, and a, um, uh, a foam, what do you call it? What's your, <laughs> a mic, mic, yeah, what does it call it on the top of it? Like the little foam thing on top of it. My brain's a little fired off right now, but uh, the foam on so, top of the microphones, it keeps it from distorting. So you add that on top right. of it and you have a little case. So it's a little small deluxe set that you take it on the road wherever you go. So without the microphones or the foam or the case or the power supply, you have just the device by itself with cables, or you can get the whole kick and boodle and take it with you. I like it. So basically, yeah. this gives you everything you need in one, and yeah. it's just a deluxe version, adding the, uh, like you said, the microphones on top, and then it has and the, the pop filter. filter. Can you get the word out? My mind was like, what? <laughs> the go. pop there filter. You go. There you go. <laughs> To cover up the plosives, if we talk over something, it covers that up like you have on the SM7B. I absolutely love that. Now, yeah. people, the reason why we're talking about this, because, you know, the title is How to Record a Podcast Mobile. Yeah. So the, yeah. this basically gets you out into wherever you want to be. So you can get out of the studio. Like, we love our studios. Absolutely mm -hmm. love being here. But there's sometimes it may be a case where I could get, like, the biggest artist in the city I could yeah. get my media credentials. I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> Can I go in and get yeah. five minutes of their time? You're going to take a picture. You're going to do an interview. And you're going to have this to where you can get quality audio sound and yeah. not just your phone sound. Now, I'm not taking anything away from the sound that you can get from your sure. phone. But these additional features, all right, will help you get a better quality sound while you're yeah. out mobile, right? hundred percent. And especially like if you're doing something off, like you said, off the cuff, you're jumping into a hotel, you're jumping into a setting where you have to film right there, or edit right there, or capture audio right there. This is going to be a direct audio right in front of you, whatever you've got in your in front of you to your phone. So you're, you're not getting this noisy, weird sound. You're getting direct 24 bit quality right to your device that you can save and edit when you get home. So these kind of things make it make your studio wherever you are. You're never, you never, you never um, stopped at where you are in your office or where you record your radio videos. You can record your audio wherever you are with devices like this because it makes it straight up portable, straight up easy, and straight up quality wherever you are. I absolutely love that. And uh, let me ask you this question. What makes these products that we're talking about different than some of the other products that are on the market right now for mobile use? Um, I think the biggest thing you mentioned earlier was our apps. We not only make the hardware, but we make the software that goes on your device and or your Mac and PC to help you make the edits and make it sound better and, and just give you that quality you're looking for, like mic modeler, mic room, or um, uh, gosh, there's so many apps we make now that, that give you the great amplitude, which is another one. Um, gosh, there's so many that we do now that bring sound and help you edit right there. It's great to have that functionality. And not every device gives you a connecting app that brings it in for you. So we're kind of the, the marriage of two things together, your application and your hardware, making it simple for you. So let's look at this mic modeler really, really quick. And I'm going to sure. try to pull it up on my iPad here so you can talk through some of the microphones that it can sure. model. And sure. the reason why I'm doing this, uh, Derek, is because 
I think it's a great tool. Now, I haven't used it, so I I can't say, like, from my personal uh, experience, this is what it does. I'm only looking at the application for what it provides versus what's out there on the market because this app is completely free. Sure, sure. What he's going to pull up is what we call the mic room or mic modeler. And what this is going to do is take my microphone here and give you the characteristics or the sound or the or the vibe, so to speak, of another microphone. So let's say you only had a, a small microphone that sounded a certain way and you wanted it to sound like an SM7B. Well, you could put on the mic modeler and it would kind of try to give you that sound to give you a better representation of what you have at home. So if you can't afford the SM7B or you're like, hey, I'm on a budget, I feel you, we all on a budget, right, Strick? Right. Maybe you want to be able to get that sound. So you can try this mic modeler with one of our devices, plug it in, mic room, there it is. And you can actually have that microphone sound like another microphone, which is pretty incredible. So, And these are some of, this is how it goes in. So I actually have one of the mics here in the studio. So let me see if I can pull this. I'm, which one did you get? Oh, you had the Eric Mic HD, right? Yep, Mic uh, HD. Yeah. Oh, Condenser man. microphone. Let me tell you something. I like this <laughs> mic right here. I really do. <laughs> the reason why I like it, of course, it's a USB mic. So the interface is all inside of this microphone okay Mm -hmm. so you got the usb and you also have your headphones so i can plug this up to a computer and it gives me the the mic and interface and then i can have my headphones in so i can hear what i'm saying but now also connected to my phone here Mm -hmm. i can use this mic and model these yeah which is amazing and what did i say sometimes you can't afford to, to buy a big mic locker you just want to have a great sound. Right. Well, you can use our mic and use one of those models there and make it sound like that other microphone, which is pretty incredible. No? And and these are all the microphones. And I'm holding the mic in front of me like here. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it like, you know, if I was rapping. Yeah, you, know? you do that. You have to rap it. I'm like, go ahead. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but these are all the mics that it can actually model. And, of course, um, the one on the bottom um, here which is, I think, is the coolest to, because when I was in radio, the RE20 is what we used. Yeah. And, uh, man, that's a, that's a big boy a classic, microphone. Classic, classic, And classic. if I could use this mic, and it could kind of make the sound of this other one. So the IKMultimedia.com is where I'm at, and you can mm-hmm. actually go to check it out on the yep. app stores, uh, yep. whatever app store you have to be able to download it on your mm-hmm. um on your iPhone or your iPad. And again, these are some of the other Let me throw this in there though. Every microphone is not free. So you download this app. Okay, thank you. But if you want to download like all the microphones, there's a small cost. So it's not like you use like 10, 15 bucks and you get a bunch of stuff. So it's not like we're saying, give me a hundred bucks. We're saying, give me 15 bucks and you can get a bunch of microphones. So $15 $15 is way better than $500 for a bunch of microphones, right? I would right. <laughs> I think that's way better. Right. So, you know, it's a much better buy and you get to save these models for as long as you want to use them. So you're never without them. I love it. So if you're liking that and we're bringing value to you, guess what I need you to do? It is really like. simple. Hit, hit the it, hit like it. button. It Let me know it, that it, we're it. getting it. And, uh, share, 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 share. Yeah, share it all. So this, these things, as we're talking about podcasting, is so important. Of course, I've started off this show. So if you catch this in the replay or if you're coming in and you miss how we started during the countdown, I went through some platforms, not pros and cons, but just an awareness of the platforms that you can have for your podcast but coming yeah. in if you're not in the studio and you're going out ik multimedia has i see the like button going up man i just <laughs> have to stop and just say thank you you know um ik multimedia has those um attachments the products that you need to be mobile that's going to give you a great quality sound using yes, your sir. ipad using your iphone to make mm. you mobile and of course I talked about one of the features that I saw that I'm going to get, which is that mic room where you can kind of make your microphone sound like other mics while you're mobile. I think that is huge. Now, the only thing y'all didn't have on there was the SN7B. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) We working on it. We working on it. (laughs) It was the, uh, I think you have the Shure 57, SM57 or something like that. I get it. I get it. But that We couldn't quite get it to match that, that model. I'm sure. I'm sure it's really hard. Um, that being you see said, I'm it, right? 
hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see you rocking it. I, I do, I do. Um, we wanted to talk about one more product. You know me, okay? Mm. You know uh, you sent me a product early on when we met. So Derek and I met probably about a year and a half ago, of course, during the stream show. He's been a dedicated mm. partner to the stream show, uh, coming on when I need him. And uh, when we get a chance to talk about something like this, it is big because – his company is in the audio business, and it's yes, not just these mobile. This is just a portion of what IK Multimedia does. So, like yeah. you're actually um, connected to artists, like artists from all over the world, yeah. based on the yeah. software that you guys sell. I mean, like Fred Hammond. I saw you mm-hmm. did an interview with him. Then you yep. you connected with John P. Key as well, and John and, P. Key, and is Oakley, Sinbad. I mean, Sean Stockman from Boys to Men. They have all been at the camp, so it's a beautiful thing. It is. It is so cool because of the software. Can you talk about some of the things that musicians are using from IK Multimedia that's attracting them to you guys? That makes what you do such a big deal for them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We we make a lot of software applications, which is our really first baby. We came into the company and came into the technology world as a software company, and we created three major platforms. All of our software is kind of based around. We've kind of segmented into after that. We have something called Amplitube, which is our guitar effects modeling software. And that allows you to take any amplifier or cabinet or pedal that you probably have ever seen. And it's probably already in software phones. So you can play through that amplifier in software, which is pretty amazing. So just think I can play through my amplifier in a software application. Pretty awesome. Then we have something called t rex where we take apart and we model or recreate. All the physical hardware gear you might see in a studio, like a compressor or a limiter or an EQ, all those great parts you might see in a studio, we recreate those in software so you can use them in your application. And then we have something called uh, Sample Tank, which is our workstation or our kind of sound-based product. We put together all the sounds from strings and violins and, and drums and basses, all the ones you want to play in a certain composition, and we give you those sounds in a simple player that you can play them all together. And we have multiple applications after that, like our Hammond V3 and um, multiple layers of T-Rex, multiple versions of Amplitude. But they're all based around that core structure of Amplitude, guitar effects modeling, T-Rex, our mixing surface, and Sample Tank, our, our playable surface for your, your DAW. So lots of great sounds there for you. So, guys, we have a few more minutes left with Derek. So if you have any questions, please put a Q in front of your question, and I'll be more than happy to ask him about whatever it is that you want to know. Of course, we've been talking about podcasting. You may have another question. Um, Mm -hmm. Again, Derek helps us because he's able to take what IK Multimedia does as a company, Mm -hmm. software, and products now for streaming and mobile Mm -hmm. streaming, and he's also a content creator, so he's in our world understanding how the pieces all work together. So when Clubhouse hit and everybody wanted to be able to get that crisp microphone sound, guess what? It was the iRig that people were going after to be able to connect to their phone. So, uh, and that's an IK Multimedia product, okay? So these, and I have one of those in the studio. (laughs) I have the iRig phone. So let me talk, I want you to help me with this one. Uh, Okay. This is one of my favorite ones from you guys. I want to be sure I hit the right button here. Go to the right scene. Oh, you're your creator. Your creator. Oh man. So you sent. This is how I got this microphone, and was just so pleased with the sound of it, the quality of it, and the fact that this this was all I needed. So if I didn't want to turn on everything in my studio, I didn't want to turn on the Rodecaster Pro. I did want to deal with my SM7B. I just yeah. wanted to be able to talk. Had a light. You can. It comes with a stand. Yep. Um, and I'm talking about it because I like it, of course. But this is your <laughs> product. Oh, well, let me let me give it break it down for him. And it's a super simple, easy, everything in a kit box. We're going to give you a little tripod that you put your mobile device on, whether it be your iPhone, your iPad, your uh, your Android, whatever you use. We're going to give you a physical ring light, which everybody's using the ring lights now, which is super easy. But then we give you the microphone on top of that where you can plug into your iPhone or your your iPad. So you get the entire kit. You sit your microphone uh, on the tripod. You sit your phone on the tripod itself. And then you put your light on and you just hit go on your phone. And you're making your video right there. So everything in a box, one time, one shot, super easy. Software's included as well. So super easy, you district. 
I love it. I think it is super easy. So when I got it, I was like, you know, my job as part of the stream show is to help streamers succeed. Like what is the barrier to entry is all this equipment and this particular product has everything all in one. Now it's not the big dome light. It's not the SN seven B It's not your, uh, you know, the big uh, crane um, stand. (laughs) These are all things that are small. They're portable. And again, it's a very low barrier to entry to get you doing what you would like to do, which is exactly. creating content. You can start creating content with a product like this, and then sure. as you grow, just add to it. Get the, you know, you're using your phone because it comes with that. Um, let me get to so you can see it. So you're using your phone because it comes with the stand for your phone. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Has yeah. the light. You don't have to invest. You have the ring light. You know, all of this stuff is right there in the palm of your hand based off this particular product. And I'm raving about it because I like the price point. I like the build of the product. Of course, <laughs> I have it. And I really, really do like this microphone. Like I'm really like I think this is a cool mic because of the interface part of it and the little knobs that you can actually control, like the, the volume. volume. Yeah. The input. Yeah. yeah. So, so I have my focus set to where it's not looking, so it's not going to change. It's going to sit right here on the focus. I'll tell you what, Nick. Let me, let me give them this 10-second this version of this. This kit will take away all the excuses if you want to start a podcast, if you want to start a stream. All you got to do is take out your phone and everything in this box is going to help you get there. All you got to do is have a topic, have a subject, have a target you want to meet, you know, have a vehicle you want to get them there on. And then plug in this box and you're ready to go. I think I talk to people a lot and they always want to figure out, okay, can I, I can have the best this and the, and the sharpest that. And the, all, all that's great if you have a great topic and you have a great person you're talking to. And it's on the platform they want to see it on. If it's not, <laughs> then you're just right. talking to yourself. Right. Help me out, Strip. Right. You know, so make that, sure that you've figured out your topic, your passion, whatever your real great um, podcast is going to be. And then figure out who's the person you're talking to. Figure out you know how to talk to them, where to reach them at. Figure out where they where they are. Are they on Spotify? Are they on Apple Music? Figure out the target where they are. And then, you know, let's get this great gear. But don't worry about it. You People are making millions of dollars just holding up their phone and talking. So the, though our That's stuff true. is great, we want you to get it. We don't want you to feel like you have to be dependent on that to start your podcast. You can start right now today. Right, Strick? I love it. And you're exactly right. Say it all the time. Uh, Content is the king. So how you develop the content as you grow, you can do you can find better ways to develop your content. But don't allow you not don't allow your mind to go. I don't have all of this big stuff that these people are talking about. Start with your phone and there are. If there are ways to add applications to your phone to get better and better and better. Then as you grow and you feel like, hey, I can still make content consistently mm-hmm. with this bigger product, with this new camera, with this new mic, I can still right. make better product. I mean, consistent uh, mm-hmm. content. And that's how you grow. But get it to is. the point it where is. you're making consistent content. I would tell anybody, I've seen content creators, and they're not content creators, they're entertainers that go on YouTube. Yeah, man. Like at one point, there was a guy, Kevin Samuels. He's passed now, but his his video that went viral, he had a shadow on his face. He wasn't showing his face. <laughs> yeah, but his content was so controversial and entertaining yeah. Yeah. that exploded him. And then, as more and more people saw him, guess what? He invested more and more into his personal office space to where you could you see go. him. And, uh, and it made the difference, of course, over time. But when he first started or what went viral, he was in, he didn't even have light on his face. <laughs> That's true. It's so true. I, I do want to help people with that. And, of course, we're talking yeah. about the video piece. The audio piece was what helped him go because it did go viral. The clip went viral. So being able to sure. hear him and hear his guests was important. So we talk about sure. that all the time. What's the first thing you want to do? Work on your audio yes gotta hear you gotta hear you video versus bad audio okay just things that you want to remember and we've been rocking and rolling um derek man thank you for hanging out with me today 
appreciate you, man. I know we were, I was running around today and almost missed it, but you know, we got it. We nailed it. We took care of it. So everybody out there watching the stream show, keep watching, keep supporting, keep hitting that like, keep hitting subscribe. And when you get a chance and you want to feel motivated or encouraged, you go to the beautiful now project on youtube.com. Lots of great interviews there. Lots of positive content for you, keeping you moving. Thank you for saying that. And he's talking about the Beautiful Now project on YouTube because that's his YouTube channel and he's <laughs> inspiring people. So not only yeah. is he representing IK Montana Media, he is a content creator that's encouraging other people. And I yeah. absolutely love that. And another way you can be encouraged is by watching all of the things that Ecamm is doing. So of course we got building blocks. We got the flow. We have doc rock. We have yeah. Marshall creates all of these are shows that you can see right here on the Ecamm YouTube channel. So yes, all you have to do is go to the, this week's shows and figure out what's being play this week building blocks is also working on a challenge they're trying to help you with interview okay. mode so check okay. out anna infusions and what they're doing and if you are needing to go to the next level with your interview guess what you can do it with them all there right you go. and i got <laughs> one more thing before i let you go uh people of video september 19th through the 21st in albany new york uh, okay. is a conference that Ecamm is sponsoring. So if you need more details, go to peoplevideo.com. If you're ready to purchase your ticket, use a promo code, okay? 25% mm -hmm. off is Ecamm Fam. There you go. Just trying to help you out, okay? <laughs> Derek, thank you so very much for hanging out with me, sir. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. All right, you guys <laughs> have a great day. Lights, camera, action. Join the stream team with Strick and Brent and be a part of the stream network. Our goal is really simple. We're here to help you succeed.